Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So today in the house, we have a special package from Headphone Zone and this thing is like quite interesting. So make sure to watch this video till the end. So these people have sent us something known as a DAC. I'm not sure if you guys know, but DAC stands for a digital to analog converter. And to put it in simple words, this thing greatly enhances your audio listening experience. So thing is, every smartphone, even your smartphone has like a built-in DAC or a headphone amplifier, but it gives you pretty mediocre sounding audio results unless it's something like a premium or a flagship level phone that features a high res quad DAC or something like that and audio files are never satisfied with such results so for you people this is what you're looking for so let's get started Oh, looks like there's a letter from Headphone Zone in the package. So basically, they're giving us a brief on the product they've sent us. In the package, we have Astel & Kearns XB10, which is a wireless portable DAC made for smartphones. And they've also bundled a wired in-ear monitors from KZ. Very nice of them. There you go guys, our DAC from Astel & Kern comes back like this, model is XP10, offers high quality wireless streaming and supports codecs like Aptex, Aptex HD also and a lot of other stuff. And along with that, these are the KZ earphones which I was talking about. They are wired in-ear monitors, model is Zedison Pro X and along with that in the package there's a thank you note over here and what is this, a couple of cards? Oh, they're actually like a playlist of popular songs from different genres. You can pause the video and have a look at them. And lastly, they also gave us a bunch of stickers in the package. And that is it. These are all the stuff. Now let's finally unbox and check out the DAC. XP10 from Astel & Kern is a compact wireless portable DAC and comes in this sort of box packaging. It's got Bluetooth on board, supports high quality wireless streaming up to 24 bit with Aptex HD codec support and says it's designed by iRiver. And that is it, there is nothing much written on it. So let's quickly get started with the unboxing. And there you go, as soon as you open it, you've got our brand new DAC at the top. Oh wow, look at this thing. It's so small and compact, right? And also very lightweight in the hand, weighs only around 30 grams. We'll just come back to this in a moment and get a look at this. A miniature textbook like user guide. And lastly, in the package, you also get a USB cable for charging and a belt clip for the DAC. So let me quickly unbox and show you the KZ IEMs also, the Zedison Pro X, come in this sort of box packaging, has a picture of the product on the front, nothing much written on it, so let's quickly open it and check out the product. There you go, the Zedison Pro X in the hands. These are hybrid dual driver in-ear monitors from KZ and boy look at that design, a translucent body that shows the internals of the earphones. And along with that you also get some extra pair of ear tips and this is a main cable for the earbuds. It's a special cable guys, high purity silver plated cable and it's also detachable. It's got these two pin connectors at the end to connect the earphones and a 3.5mm headphone jack at the other end. And the product is actually available in two variants, you get with and without mic editions. We have the mic edition right now. So that is it guys, completely done with the unboxing part. Now let's have a closer look at the DAC and talk about the design and the build quality. As I've told you, XB10 is very small, compact, portable wireless DAC and weighs only around 30 grams. It's got a beautiful quadrant-like design with a 3D elevated top surface and has a couple of buttons and ports on it. There's a play pause, volume up and down and a Bluetooth button as well. And a couple of ports on the sides also. But what makes this a pro category product is, along with your regular 3.5mm unbalanced headphone out, it also offers you a dedicated 2.5mm balanced out port. I'll tell you what that is and why it's used in this video so make sure to keep watching. And moving on there's a micro USB port for charging and a multi-function slide switch to power it on or lock the device. And on the bottom guys there's nothing much over here just their logo and a slot to fix the belt clip. That is it our complete overview on the DAC. And moving over to the earbuds, I've told you right, these are hybrid dual driver in-ear monitors from KZ and they feature a balanced armature driver and a 10mm dynamic driver that work together in a hybrid sort of setup and offer a balanced resulting sound. Beautiful design guys, top part is made of metal while the remaining body is made of a resin like translucent material and can actually show you the internals of the earbuds. Tips quality is also nice, feels soft and durable and has a detachable cable design. So in case if something happens to the cable in future, you can easily replace it. Very simple to use plug and play mechanism, just like this. So what I'll do is I'll quickly set it up, use it for a couple of days and then be back to continue the video. 
So guys, I'm back to continue the video. I've been using this XB10 DAC since the last couple of days and today I'll be sharing like my complete thoughts and feedback on it. There is so much I have to talk about, so don't miss any part of this video. So first of all guys, since the day I started using this DAC, I'm completely blown away by the quality guys. The level of audio quality you get through this is like next level guys. It unlocks like a new level of audio listening experience. Now there are some people who might say that, what's so special about a DAC? I have like a headphone at home which is around like 1000, 2000 rupees and I get like good satisfactory result only. Why should I go for a DAC? Now there is only one thing I can say for you people. You are like blindfolded. You haven't heard the best quality sound and there is so much more to explore in this world. So once you start using these sort of DACs right there is no going back so as I've told you guys DAC or digital to analog converters are used to like greatly enhance your audio listening experience they're like pro grade equipment made for like audio files or for like people who really want to listen like premium quality sound and for people who don't care about the price they just want like best quality results this is what you're looking for so guys what I've done is I've actually written down some points on this piece of paper because I didn't want it to forget or miss out any point while uh, making this review so first of all guys I've told you right it's made by Astel and Kern model is XB10 it's actually a Korean brand guys and XB10 is like a very popular brand and used by a lot of professionals and best part is see usually DACs are like pro grade equipment and are like quite expensive and you should be like quite thankful because you're getting something like this in such a small form factor and that would an affordable price we'll come to the pricing part also in a moment and this thing supports like uh, four audio codecs you've got SBC AAC Aptex is also there Aptex HD is also there and supports up to like 24 bit 192 kilohertz high quality wireless streaming so you can expect like great results from this thing and the exclusive special thing about this tiny little DAC is it offers offers like two outputs on it guys now this is something exclusive you've got a regular 3.5 mm headphone out is also there and a special 2.5 mm balanced out is also available so now i'm pretty sure that 99 percent of the people watching this video do not know the difference between balanced out and balanced out what's the difference between them where are they used and why are they used exactly so that is something i can actually tell you so guys have you actually ever seen like your 3.5 mm headphone jack and wondered what are those rings on the connectors or what are these connections how do they work let me tell you in like a simple way so these 3.5 mm jacks actually have like trrs connections guys t stands for tip ring ring and sleeve and basically in like an unbalanced output stage what happens is tip is usually assigned for the left channel then you've got right channel for the ring and the remaining connections can be given one for microphone and one more for the ground and whenever you talk about these connections or output stages right you always take the signal with reference to ground guys and since you're having like left and right channel and there's only one ground ground is common for both of them and here only arises the main problem guys when ground is common for both the left and right channel you get something known as crosstalk and crosstalk is something professionals do not prefer so basically what crosstalk is what happens is a uh, left channel audio signal slightly overlaps on the right channel and similarly right channels audio signal slightly overlaps on the left channel because both of them are having like a common ground right and because of this you lose that stereo separation you lose that wide sound stage and you get this mono sort of feel and professionals do not like this happening guys and that is the reason balanced output stage was created so basically in the balanced mode also you have like trrs connections only but there unlike the single amplifier on the unbalanced output here you have like dual amplifiers guys and since you are having like dual amplifiers there is no option for like microphone or ground because in the TRRS now both of these will go for one amplifier and both the remaining connections will go for the second amplifier left and right channel you don't have chance for ground and since ground is eliminated now crosstalk is automatically eliminated and this is how balanced output was created and one more major advantage of using balanced output is since you're having like dual amplifiers obviously output will also be double right for example if you have like 0.9 volt of output you're getting 0.9 volts on the unbalanced output here you'll obviously get like 1.8 volts of output and since you're getting like high output this output stage will be able to drive like powerful headphones also or headphones which have like high impedance like maybe 300 ohms 500 ohms premium headphones with large drivers right 
tax can easily drive them with the balanced output port so that can also be like a great major advantage guys and one more thing i can mention over here is since you're getting like a lot of output over here automatically your noise will also reduce see what happens is consider your smartphone most of the smartphones have like weak output signal you only get like 0.9 because it's not unbalanced right 3.5 mm unbalanced out so you will mostly push it to like 90 95 percent of the volume also right on your phone and when you automatically increase your output volume and push the amplifier to maximum automatically thd levels will also increase right so you don't get that excellent quality sound and since on the DAC here you don't need to go almost like 90 percent guys since the output is almost double whatever you used to get on 90 95 percent on your phone here you'll get it only around like 45 50 percent only and since you're using it at like 50 percent volume you'll have like very minimum thd and you'll have like excellent signal to noise ratio and you'll get like excellent premium quality sound with silky smooth audio so that that can majorly change your audio listening experience so these are some of the main differences like why professionals actually use balanced output and they don't actually prefer unbalanced out we got slightly deviated over there anyways coming back to the actual DAX performance so XB10 actually features Cirrus Logic CS435 chip on the inside DAX chip from them and they've paired it with Qualcomm CSR 8675 Bluetooth chipset and both of them are like perfectly compatible guys I've actually went to the spec sheet also and they support like 24 bit 192 kilohertz audio processing so you can get like studio quality sound from this thing and I'm telling you right I've been using this DAC for the last couple of days and ex excellent quality audio guys you will be like blown away by the sound once you start listening to music on this thing and not just this particular earphones i've used like different sort of in-ear monitors with this DAC especially i was using my premium quality shore ionic series in-ear monitors and they were like working very good guys excellent and best part is uh, you can convert those sort of wired in-ear monitors into like a wireless experience with this DAC guys. So that is like an added benefit. And talking about the battery, this DAC actually has like a built-in 350 milliampere battery. And on an average, I was getting around like four to four and a half hours of battery life guys. Plenty more than enough and you can easily get your job done. And has a standby time of around like 300 hours guys. So that is also quite reasonably good. And it took me around like one and a half hour or max two hours guys to fully charge this device from zero to 100. So that was about the XB10 DAC guys. Excellent quality DAC at an affordable price. You'll be like fully satisfied with this thing. Now moving on, let's also talk about the earphones. We actually forgot about that. So these are the ZSN Pro X from KZ. And as I've told you, they are like hybrid dual driver in-ear monitors and feature like balanced armature and also a dynamic driver as 10mm drivers. And balanced armature usually takes care of like the high frequencies and the dynamic drivers take care of the low frequencies and up to like mid lows guys. And both of them were like working uh, together and was producing like balanced quality sound. Uh, mids were nice guys, vocals were like crispy and clear treble quality was also fine but sometimes you know in certain songs i felt treble was slightly a bit on the higher side only uh, slightly towards sharper that is what i can say and coming to bass bass was also nice not too punchy or anything they were like producing like reasonably decent amount of bass because they are like in-ear monitors right you can't expect like consumer level uh, deep punchy bass or anything like that on the overall it was producing like a balanced and good quality sound very reasonable for this price point they cost only around like 16.99 or something like that and for that price it's pretty good so that is pretty much it guys this is what i wanted to show you all in this video talk about these new technologies terms and you know talk about balanced unbalanced differences and stuff like that if you people are like really interested in learning more about these sort of technologies do let me know and i'll definitely keep trying to include these in my videos uh, if you all enjoyed watching this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one